Yo, what is going on everyone? Scardifist here, and we are back with some more A Legionary's Life. Uh, last time was an hour premiere. Probably not gonna be, this episode won't be as long as uh, the previous one, right? And we surprisingly got far. I was actually very, 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 very impressed with ourselves. So yeah, uh, we're continuing on right where we left off. Uh, Scipio himself leads whatever forces he can. Okay, okay, okay. You don't like the rumors you've been hearing? It seems the enemy outnumber you. Okay. We failed in collecting, boys. I'm very upset about that. Uh, we took a huge morale hit. I was not expecting it. And because of that, we are back down to this little uh, position. But we're in Hispania right now. We seem to have... Uh, we beat the third stage, which is actually very impressive. Your army is busy building its camp across the border. Plane separates you from Carthaginians. A large cavalry host comes forward. Okay. Hang on a second, boys. I have to do something really quickly. Okay, we're back. Uh, the sudden counterattack stalls the assailants for a while, but the fight is in the is in the balance. Soon, your manipul is sent out to back your horsemen up. Your cavalrymen has been slowly t uh, taking the ground thanks to your support. As yet another charge brings chaos to both sides. A Numidian rides in front of your ranks with a clear intent to provoke an attack. These horsemen are considered among the best in the world. They were key to many of Hannibal's victories in the early years of the war, and all your compatriots who have met them on the battlefield have learned to respect them. Come forward and meet them in single. Don't leave the safety of the formation. I am not doing that. You stay behind a shield. He throws a javelin at your line, but is forced to retreat with a squadron. Yeah, that's right. The skirmish goes on for a long time, but in the end, the Carthaginians have given up and ride back to their camp. Nothing else is relevant. Else relevant happens for the rest of the day. All right, we could have gotten fucked over there big time. The day has come. The voices of officers giving orders and the sound of marching uh, feet fill the air as your column leaves the camp. All your efforts over the last four years are at stake today. It's been four years in the game. Jesus. Your manable takes his position out in the battlefield. If you fail here, the vast plain is the last place you'll ever see. You see, now here's the thing. Marcus Crassus tried to fucking invade Parthia on vast plain. He got absolutely annihilated. So let's hope... We don't become like Crassus, but so far, this little Scipio son is falling into the same fucking trap. Open plains, cavalry archers harassing, no, 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 horse archers harassing, I don't like the sound of that. The legions of Rome and the Italic alley are in the center, your local allies, light troop on the wings. When the dust settles, you see the distant enemy, Hasdrubal Gisco. <laughs> adopted a similar approach with his heavy infantry in front of you. His elephants stand like towers in front of his Hispanian allies on the wings. See, in Rome Total War, all you had to do was get fucking pigs and set the, and fire and they'd be fucking scurrying away. Alright, you wait in silence. You have to trust your fellow soldiers. If at any point they panic and break formation, then all is lost no matter what you do. You try not to dwell on it. The wait seems to go on forever. Minutes pass, then hours. Neither general gives the signal to advance. As the sunset approaches, you see a motion ripple through the enemy front. They are not advancing, though they are going back to their camp. Soon after, the same order is given to you. You march back with a mix of... Oh, Jesus. The following day, the scene repeats itself, and the days after that, and so on. For several days, the Carthaginians are always deployed first... Uh, their heavy infantry in the center and you follow soon after mirroring their arrangement intelligence Thank you for that. Uh, you can't help but wonder what Scipio is up to you displayed plenty of in Initiative and acumen at New Carthage and Bakula yet now. He's merely responding to Hasdrubal's moves uh, There must be something but you can't quite put your finger on it then one morning you are all aw awakened Sooner than usual. The order is to have breakfast and prepare to march out. Something is off with the position of your legion in the outgoing column. You'll end up on a wing rather than the center. Things are starting to make sense. Very shrewd. Your cavalry and skirmishers are harassing the Punic camp, forcing Hasdrubal Gisco to respond and deploy in a hurry. Both armies are fully positioned. The dust has not settled yet, but you are quite sure you are facing the enemy light infantry now rather than their elite heavy troops. This time, there will be no turning back. Okay. Let's fucking roll. Scipio himself takes command of your wing. You ch you wheel to the right, then turn left. Your three lines become columns. Your maniple loses cohesion for a moment and comes close to disarray. Not very reassuring. Your senior officer quickly regains control. Well, how the fuck was I supposed to like there was no check there as a column you gain advance much faster than usual You see that the other wing on the left also made out of heavy footmen is doing the same The line formed by your Hispanian allies in the center is moving forward at a slower pace You are now close enough to the Carthaginian left wing most texts I've read so far you wheel to 
uh, you wheel to the right once more then turn and face them in your usual formation you have been too fast for them to react properly their elephants are being driven away by your skirmishers at last you're ordered to advance not only are you going to face light troops but you know the enemy have had no time to eat this morning because of your surprise attack you have a huge advantage if we fucking die to this shit i'm gonna be mad when the other side is at the right distance you prepare to hurl your first javelin uh just throw it yeah just throw it let's move he misses strike Bingo! He's gonna faint. I'm going to quick faint. Get him off on his uh, edge. Again with. All right, we missed. That's fine. He fails his quick faint. He faints again. He fails. I have to recover because I'm not about to fucking lose shit. Uh, he attacks my head and he gets good damage onto it. I get a recovery in return. He attacks my leg. He misses my leg. I'm gonna go for his torso right now. I'm gonna miss his torso, obviously, because uh, that's how the game wants to be played right now. We're gonna recover. We're staying in the neutral stance right now because any movement that's too much is going to be too costly. Like, if we fuck up one time, he's gonna get a nice chunk off on me, and I just cannot allow that to happen. Good damage on the 15. Torso again. Good damage on the 11. We're probably gonna be fighting multiple, so we can probably take two more hits, and then we've lost the game because uh, there's just too much damage coming in. Succeeded in the feint, attacks my groin. I got very lucky there. Uh, thank you, game, for once. Uh, we're gonna vote for cover. If he actually had gotten that ch uh, on me, the attack, he would have chained it, and I would have been just dead instantly. Okay, he's he's fucking dead. He's just dead. Yep, dead. We're gonna respite. We're already half fatigued over here. Jesus. Uh, we're gonna respite again. He's in a quick feint. He's gonna fail his quick feint. I know the situation is deterring, so we get another chance to attack him. Good, 12 damage. He misses. And I'm gonna miss, but I have a chance to recover. Uh, very slim though, but I actually get it. Very impressive. Game's RNG is favoring me this time. I'm gonna take advantage of that. Torso strike him. Good damage. Head hit the recovery. 38 on a recovery right there. We gotta be careful. Brief lull, that's fine. I have a huge advantage. He's seriously wounded. Shifting situation. From your current position, it's different to fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go in again. Uh, this is a new guy, and we're fresh. So he's gonna, ooh, he's gonna succeed in that. I'm going to have to force recover. Big time. He's gonna succeed in his recovery too. I'm gonna respite. If he fatigues out, that's fine. He's gonna attack my leg. He's gonna miss big time. I'm gonna take the opportunity, whack him, but I miss the whack. He could capitalize. He does not get the chance. I get a full recovery into this. He's gonna try to chain a death fail. I'm gonna try this one more time. Lower chance is gonna miss it. This time, I'm probably fucked. No, I'm not. Go for recovery. Okay, we've learned our lesson. We're not gonna do that twice now. We're gonna go for a quick feint this time. Try to get him a little bit off his balance. Drop his guard, right? We're gonna go for another normal feint this time because I know for a fact that uh, it's gonna take more. He's gonna attack the arm. This is the arm attack. Go for a death faint over here big big fucking faint he gets the recovery but i do have more opportunities to actually strike him down uh we're gonna stay in this defensive neutral pose right now because uh we're gonna have to play things safe right uh we've gone he's in some serious trouble right now so we're gonna go with torso and we're gonna miss somehow even though it was a great setup we're gonna go for a recovery that's fine reset the entire fight he's gonna become fatigued after this which is absolutely fine for me normal faint again that's minus 22 he's gonna do a recovery fails the recovery this time death faint if we can succeed that we, we would have chained but we didn't succeed that so that's fine it's a full recovery respite he's pretty soon gonna be done attacks my torso gets a lucky hit on me uh a little bit unfortunate we're gonna go for a quick faint right here resist spots the head bingo he's dead He's in trouble. Yeah, nine hit. Failed. Recover. Uh, fails his recovery on his second turn. Uh, I failed that. I'm probably dead here. No, I'm not. Recovery immediately into this. Okay, I have a good stance right now. He also gets his recovery off. Soft spot. Good damage on there. That's the first time I actually used soft spot, to be quite honest. Let's try another soft spot. Good damage. He's, uh, he's gonna run. Nice. He is going to run. All right. You have weakened them, though. I could have killed them, but it is what it is, right? Uh, pin them down by your Hispanic allies. In the center, the African infantry can't come to the aid of these catratri. Cat There's no reason to expose yourselves more than necessary, so you're ordered to step back and let the principales take over. Very soon, the wings of the Punic front start to collapse, forcing the unprotected center to follow. All right! Hasdrubal Gisco manages to rally what he can of his fleeing army and forms a new defensive line on the hill close to the camp. He has lost too many troops, however, and their morale must be shaky at best. Your army is waiting at the bottom of the hill when the signal to attack comes through. You fairly outnumber the Punics now. This won't take long. The enemy is weak, and there's no reason to put your life at risk. Few would notice if you held back a little. 
Wait, what did we just... We just fucked up. Why did I go for that attack? Okay, we're dead. We lost. Game over. I lost. I, I fucking clicked. I, I, I don't know. I, I literally do not know why I did that. I'm such a fucking idiot. Go with this. I'm such a fucking idiot. I'm such a fu I'm so fucking stupid. Like, if, if I kill him, guys, the loot would be great. But holy shit. Like, what are the chances I actually can kill him? Okay? He succeeds in recovery. Normal? You know what has to happen? I have to get so lucky. Wow. I have to get very lucky. So he chained a recovery there. Just keep that in mind. And I failed that. Okay, he failed that. Let's go. Okay, I failed that. Recover. Yes. He chained a recovery again. Okay. I failed. I'm actually so stupid. I'm an idiot. Soft spot. Soft spot. Soft. No, no. Back into this. I, I'm not. I'm not about to fucking change my stances. Situation is shifting. Okay, recover. Recover. All right, let's go to here. Let's go here. I'm going to I'm going to take a risk now. Quick. Okay. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. A dis the discharging cards unions give way after a brief we better get more out for this. But York Chase is nipped in the bud when a sudden downpour overwhelms the battlefield. There's no choice but to go back. Some of the soldiers are wondering out loud why in God's are protecting the Punics. You make it back last. You'll need all. The yes, I need all the rest I can get. Most of their local allies deserted the Carthaginians soon after the battle. Hasdrubal, Gisco, and the remainder of his army fled during the night. Scipio leads you in the pursuit. They are close to the sea when you finally entrap them. What follows is nothing more than butchery. Your maniple isn't even involved as the outnumbered punics are slaughtered. A few thousand evade the bloodbath. They entrench themselves on the top of nearby hills. You lay siege to them and wait. They won't last long without water. When they surrender, there's no trace at Hasdrubal and Magal. They made their escape, but it uh, matters little. It is over. The Carthage, Carthage's presence in Hispania is all but obliterated. I was about to say, guys. I was about to say. If we fucked up there, I would have actually flipped my shit. I'm not even lying. I'm not even lying. Okay, sweet. Two. A few months later, the last fortress of Gaiti surrenders without a fight. When you arrived four years ago, three large armies were keeping Hispania under Carthage's thumb. Now this land is firmly in the hands of Rome. You embark once again, this time heading home. After such a long time in the army, you can't wait to see your family. Did we just do it? Did it, the least likely run? We And we succeeded. What can I say? And yet your new life back home is not as you anticipated. Maybe it's your people who are different, or maybe it's just you. What you saw, now that's some PTSD with the war going on. That's some serious shit we don't need to joke about. What uh, what you saw, what you got used to. See, look at that. PTSD. You can't shake the feeling that something is amiss now. You can't fit into society because shit's, you know, difficult. Scipio is back too. Many Roman citizens regard the young general as a hero after the astounding victory in Hispania, and he is elected count consul. After a long debate, Scipio is allowed to carry out his plan to invade Africa, the vast land beyond the sea to the south, dominated by the city of Carthage itself. He is given command of the legions in Sicilia. They are composed of the survivors of Kanye, confirmed... Uh, confined to the island until the end of the war as pu uh, punishment, doomed to a long-lasting exile by someone else's ruinous blunder. The new consul is forbidden to levy any more legionaries, but volunteers are permitted. I'm going. You travel to Sicilia by sea with Scipio himself and thousands of other volunteers. 
console likes me from from there the console intends to launch the invasion of africa that will hopefully end this war once and for all you join two existing legions and begin a long long the long months of training and preparations leading up to the new land and final departure however small your reputation with the console carries significant weight with your senior officers okay so we're looking a lot better okay time once again uh, how much money do we have i'm so curious right now still 272 that is dog shit two denarii 20 52 denarii okay sweet jesus all right your ability to organize a guard okay sweet sweet sweet, sweet. they like me so we're already at the best a there's a woman who claims to be a seer for two denarii she will predict your future many soldiers go to the north wow uh sorry about that i got a facebook message pay her a visit why not it's two denarii it's two denarii. You will go, you will return. You will not die in the war. On the other hand, this could be Ibis. Blah, 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 blah. You will go You will, uh, in the war. The prophecy can be tailored to any outcome. As you... Holy shit, what is going on here? <laughs> Alright, sweet. Alright, we're good. We're good, boys. I'm just closing the messenger right now. God damn, this shit needs to be off! Choose your training. Um, okay, well, that's not working out anymore, so we have to do workouts now. Let's go back to swimming, gymming, running. Uh, anything that really boosts up other stats is kind of important right now. So we're going to be playing games, winning Denari, right? Doing all that nice shit. Uh, let's go buy some gear, shall we? Yes, Greaves. Holy shit, I have been waiting so long for these. I cannot believe we survived the campaign without these. I actually cannot believe we survived without these. But they're important. We need them. Uh, we're going to buy one. And our quickness goes down. Uh, yes. Guys, this is so important. I know our stats suffer, but like, guys, listen. This is so critical to survival. Uh, let's go back to workouts. Go to the gym. Okay. Coordination. Alright, let's take a look again. Holy shit, the coordination is now at 45. Oh my god. Let's run. Swim again. Okay. You have found a soldier, Cardus. We have to do some fucking uh, morale boost after this. Asleep at his guard post. This is a very serious matter. Such a is part of the death. is so desperate, he's offering you 100 denarii to forget about this incident. It's more than a year's wage for him. Uh, you look at the witnesses accompanying you. Both are suddenly busy staring at the ground. Ah! Okay, we're going to refuse the bribe. Your witnesses look relieved. They don't seem eager to spend the... Yeah. I'm not going to take the bribe. That's going to... I Mistakes happen. I believe in second chances. <laughs> They're like all looking at the ground, like waiting for me. Like, I don't see anything. I don't know what happened. Fucking dipshits. Okay, we're good. We're good. Workouts, please yield me. Yes! Yes! Holy shit! That's what I need to see. Time is over. Battle begins. Oh my god. Look at our stats, boys. Look, I'm so fucking anxious right now. I need Sword to be a little bit better. Let's go. Yeah, we're not even in green. We're just we're just managing morale. Uh Scipio's year as a council is over, but he is given a pro counselor authority to carry on his plans all is ready a large fleet carrying the whole army sails away from Libanium. they say the journey to the north coast of africa won't take long well, i hope it doesn't troop love us let's continue a thick fog enfolds the fleet in the afternoon they are there are many uh glum faces along among your comrades you're going into the lion's den there cheer, let's try to cheer them up charisma there we go 70 charisma really did help you managed to okay perfect at the dawn, the fog is no longer there. Later, you finally catch a sight of the African coast. All right, let's fucking kill these clowns. Uh, you land not far away from the city of Utica. After spending a few days strengthening your position, you are ready to take action. Your first uh, raids through the surrounding countryside meet little to no resistance. Eventually, the detachment your manifold is part of becomes across, uh, comes across a modest town. Your next target is surrounded by a tall fence, uh, although calling it a wall would be an overstatement. Uh, let's lead the assault. You are among the first to climb. Five years ago, you took part in a successful storming. This is nothing new. This is... Yes. Yes. Before you reach the top, two militiamen start trying to stop you. They don't know what they're in for. Look! I'm so geared right now, boys. Alright. Play it safe at... Oh, wow. 
Faint. Get him on the faint. We're going to go in the normal stance. He fails his attack. Oh, we already have full damage when he fails his attack. Good. Oh, 16. Fails it again. Oh, man. We're, we're just slicing and dicing, my dudes. Yeah, he's dead. This guy might be difficult, but he succeeds somehow. Uh, I fall for a faint. Quick fainted. Uh, I'm going to respite just a little bit. Okay, I failed the respite. And look how my stance is initially lower than theirs. Alright, that's not good. Recover. Excellent. He failed his faint. Boom! One dead. Quick. Attack, maybe? Oh, lucky hit, lucky hit. Game got lucky, it's probably gonna give something back to him. Succeeded, okay, he chained it. Triple chain, okay. F quadruple chained! That's the price we pay, holy shit. I mean, it's worth it, because we killed him. And damaged the other guy, right? Shit's worth it. All right, let's respite. Make him use up all his energy. He succeeds in his faint somehow. I'm gonna fail the recovery. Uh, he's gonna quick faint me again. I'm gonna try a double recovery. Okay, good, good, good. All right, let's do an attack now. We missed the attack. Now he's in position to attack us. We're going to recover. Good job. Do we do a normal faint? Yeah, let's try normal. Bingo, big hit. He fails this. Chain it, chain it. Chain, 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 chain. He succeeds. He's gonna chain. He's gonna respite. We're gonna go back to the normal stance. Now we have a chance to hit it again. Bingo. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. He's just dead. What an idiot. Okay. We have the heal. Okay. He's gonna. Oh, he's fatigued as hell. He's fucked. He's gonna succeed in the recovery somehow. Uh, I'm also gonna succeed, even though I had a 50 50 chance. Uh, basically, I am going to... I want to say I want to faint this. Alright, I'm going to resist. Uh, pretty lucky hit, honestly. Uh, I'm going to do another faint again. And he gets... Okay, okay, okay. okay. Recover. I'm going to fail recovery. Alright, I'm going to try to recover again. Okay, I failed it again. I'm going to recover again. This time I'm going to succeed. Okay, good. Now he's dead. He's bleeding, he's dead. That's not good. Recover. And you can see our... Uh, oh man, our stance is dropping. That's not good. And we missed that. Okay, this is going on way too long. This should not be happening. Alright, we got lucky. Oh, he is fucked. 39 rounds, this guy will not die. Now he's dead. There you go. Dead. Yeah, it took you longer than expected to defeat those poorly trained militiamen. The defenders are giving way. Yeah, it took me way longer than I expected, honestly. Troops are busy looting. You see a couple of suitable places to start. Go into the building in front of you. Enter the house to your right. There's nobody inside. It looks like someone left in a hurry. Uh, what can be taken to carry? A poorly lit cellar. Light stuffing. Okay, you can hear. Oh, nice. Awareness is still good. Two kids. For you. A loud sound coming inside of the cellar. A woman comes out of hiding place. She's surrendering to you. She knows you've discovered her children behind the barrels. Her eyes are breaking enough to reveal what you have found. Okay. She quietly lets the other soldiers take her upstairs. Yeah. Okay. Leave something to help the kids. Yeah. We'll be a good boy. You leave the ghost town behind. Man, we should have fucking killed them. Two days have passed. Your group is ambushed on its way to another raid. The too big in place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Volley. All right. You. Ooh, good defense. You must repel them. Uh. Stay in the ranks. I'm not gonna fucking. Yeah. I'm not gonna be a fucking try hard. We're gonna slowly and surely move and do combat. I'm being safe as fuck in this game. This is uncharted territory. I have not been. I have not made it this far, guys. Never. I ain't about to fuck it up. Attack right now. We're, we're taking a risk here. He could actually counter really good. But we got lucky there. Now we're going to full press. If he recovers successfully, which he doesn't, uh, we're going to have to go back to normal stance. But he seems to be in trouble. Uh, recovered successfully there. 
we go for an attack? No, we should not go for an attack. We should try a soft spot if we can. No soft spot option. We're going to respite here. Just try to heal up our um, usages. Succeed in the respite. That's good. He misses that. He's dead now. Dead. Dead, 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 dead. Let's go. Respite. Another one. Another one. Oh, we, we could be hit here. Recover. Good. He succeeds in his recovery. I'm gonna soft respite. Try, he's tried to, you tried to soft spot me? Boom! Guess soft spotted back. We missed it. Shit. Normal stance. Failed the faint. He's gonna chain this. He misses his chain. We missed that somehow. Recover. We're gonna miss that. I'm gonna chain. I'm gonna chain to recovery. I'm gonna fail. I have a triple chain, a failed recovery, but I'm gonna use all my chains to recover because I know what's gonna happen if I don't get the stance. He fucks up. Okay. Yep, he's gonna pull away. That's fine. We don't have to kill him. Uh, the fall back, but it's too far from over. A large unit of heavy spear. Oh no. But the gods, where are they? You hurriedly get ready to repel the new. Oh, Jesus. Is this loot? When well, the other side is at the right distance, you prepare to hurl your first javelin. Throw it at the enemy ranks. All right. The side gets closer, you steer yourself from the incoming fight. Holy shit. Th this is loot, boys. This is fucking loot. Quick faint. He's going to succeed in the recovery as expected. Uh, quick faint again. Okay, we fail. We're going to respite. He's going to attack my head. He's going to miss the head. I'm going to take... Oh, I can't even take advantage of the opportunity. I have to go for a quick faint again to get him down even lower on the stance. He's going to successfully recover. No, he does not. Very, very fucking good. Torso head hit. Nine damage. That's enough for me. That is enough for me. I will take nine damage. Twelve damage. Perfect. Listen, if he's going to take all this damage, who am I one to judge? He's fucking dead this time. He fucking... He misplayed hard. Those three turns. Okay, we're going to recover now. Excellent work. Four damage. Okay. Let's get him on it. Let's get... Let's respite. Faint him again with a quick. Respite. Failed. That's fine. He's going to faint me again. He's going to fail the faint. Let's quick him. We failed that. Succeeded. Oh, shit. I'm fucking... I'm in trouble. Oh my god. Heal. Okay. He ran. He, okay. Let's go. Rotation. Rotate. He's seriously wounded. Hey, I'm winning. I am winning. Let's go. Rotate again. You next? You next, buddy? Let's go. Let's let, let's fucking dance, man. Let's fucking dance. Let's fucking let's go. There we go. Nine damage. Chained. Okay, 25. We're gonna recover on this. Uh, he's gonna fail his recovery. I'm gonna do a full recovery. I'm not taking the risk here with the stance. Big importance that I don't do that. Uh, soft spot him. Can we soft spot? No. We're gonna respite instead. Chances of that are much more likely. There we go. There we go. Respite again. He can do all that shit he wants with his feints and bullshit. I'm not gonna fall for it anymore. I'm gonna try to do a feint very quickly. He's gonna fail his recovery. Chain into another recovery. We're gonna respite immediately. We fail the respite uh, as expected. Uh, normal situations. All right, he fails that. We're gonna try a hit. We're gonna fail the hit. Gambled on that one a little bit. I have a chain. Oh no, he has a chain. We're gonna recover immediately. 37's capped out. Attacks the torso, gets a lucky hit. Unfortunate. Immediately into quick feign right now. Respite. He's gonna get fatigued and we have an opportunity from here on out. He, okay. Yeah, he's fucked. Okay, we're good on 37. I'm seeing this. I'm seeing the opportunity, guys. Don't worry. Okay. 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 There we go. Press it. Press him. Press him. Press him. Full press. Full press. Full press. He's gonna die anyway. He's fucked. He's actually fucked. Even above the noise of the battle, you can hear uh, 
Hoof beats approaching cavalry is finally coming. The skirmisher dispersed immediately and paid heavy toll while the spearmen disengage and carry orderly retreat to safety. You're too tired to continue. To... It seems your rescuers were in turn delayed by another ambush. You get moving again, but the rest of your day is essentially uneventful. Okay, whatever. The first few days of raiding went smoothly. Your position, A, hey, 150 denari. Be safe, right? Uh, fair amount. Spirits are high now, but no one forgets that you are outnumbered here. So you, uh, so close to Carthage, the real campaign is about to begin. Okay, sweet. Oh, look at that, boys. Look at that. All right, I want to take a look what this is. Uh, if your charisma is high, unpleasant. Okay. Okay. There's no loss of morale. So this is just a fucking boost in opinion. What the fuck is this shit? All right, let's take a look at our opinion, our money right now. Sorry. Uh, I want to do workouts. I want to do the gym. 52 denarii. All right, here's another event. The arrival of a precious ally has brought great enthusiasm. Uh, enthusiasm. Messinia is a Numidian tribal leader engaged in a war of succession with Spyx, the current king of his people. In exchange for Rome's support, he swore to help you against Carthage. You remember he fought against you in Hispania. Apparently, such trivialities are easily set aside when larger concerns are at stake. I agree. His superb horsemen will be an invaluable asset. All right, let's go with this. God damn it. Coordination again. Are you serious? Uh, your ability to organize the guard is... Okay, that's really good. Alright, guys. That's going to be it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.